So I had an old Craftsman hatchet. Uh, I'll show a picture later of what the original ones look like. It was just an inexpensive one I picked up. Uh, I don't remember how long ago. But it had this red uh, like polyurethane type finish on it. You can probably see right here at the bottom of the handle. I left that with the original finish. Uh, and it was kind of a crappy finish on it. So <clears throat> I decided since I was coming up here to the lake, I was going to hang out for the week and do some projects, tinker around. I was going to just refinish this hatchet, uh, do it over again. One, because the hatchet itself was very, very dull. Uh, just never had a good edge on it to begin with. And two, I don't like having polyurethane or any type of finishes like that on the hatchet handles. So first thing I did was took the hatchet, took my little Mora uh, knife here, scraped all that polyurethane off, sanded that down, and I used the boiled linseed oil on it and put a couple coats of that and... I actually pref much prefer that on the wood handles. So what I ended up doing was taking the hatchet head and using just basic tools. And of course, since I forgot to bring up the real tools I was gonna need, I ended up using hand file here, uh, regular sharpening stone, and then these also other sharpening stone. It's a three piece set, 600. 260 100 grit uh, and filed this edge down so then when I finished that and actually sharpened it up nicely it is like a knife blade now so it was was pretty pretty sharp so at that point I decided uh, after I wrapped the handle added a quick lanyard here and this is just all leather stuff I had sitting around from old projects and I had some little leather uh, rope here the lace and some thicker leather rope so I wrapped this to help protect the head of the uh, uh, handle here under the head of the ha hatchet and then I said wow that's a bit too sharp to have that just hanging out so I grabbed some of the leather I had up here and like I said of course because I don't have uh, all the tools I would have needed I used just regular scissors a little knife sharpener I have up here and it actually had a little file on it, a pointed file. So I used that like an awl and then, you know, poked holes through the leather and then used this leather lace as, a, you know, to, uh, to seal this up. And then I just ran to Walmart because I was trying to figure out how to close this thing up. And they had a little kit for like seven bucks. And it has your little snaps in it, and it has a little die that you set it in, and a punch. So I went and grabbed that, and then put this together. Uh, you know, it didn't take me too long to do all this. I probably had it all done in, you know, one day, considering I had to buy all sand, do the linseed oil, etc. And then once you do the snap, snaps up here, closes up nice, and... For an old hatchet, now it's turned into a nice, useful hatchet again. Uh, you can do this with just about any old hatchet you have. It doesn't take very long. You don't have to spend a lot of money on a bunch of, you know, fancy products. And if you have any kind of leather sitting around, you know, a little bit of your time, hatchet will come out pretty decent, and now it's ready to use. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.